It's a wonderful charity. It's done some great work over the years. It started with tiny beginnings, with an idea that through sport you can help change people's lives. Rugby caters for everybody. It doesn't matter background, shape or size. There's a position for you, and, and just there's so many things you can learn from rugby. Just discipline, working together as a team, and sometimes just feeling part of something. Rugby you know, was a huge relief, and I, I suppose if I didn't have rugby or the teacher, I'd have been. I don't know where I would have been. Well, rugby is one of the most amazing sports in the world. 22 people that are all playing for the same thing, and even other people on the other side were having fun together, jokes. You know, and that's what rugby is about. But that's what life is about in general. I've always taken. What I've learned from rugby, as I said, the values of my game, I've always taken that into my way of life. And so it's the chance for these these guys now, who maybe aren't as privileged in their, in their normal lives, uh, to come into rugby, learn those values, play with their mates. I'm sure a lot of these guys now have become good friends off the back of this, and take those values from the game into their into their lives. When you look at a lot of the, the kids that are on this programme, it's quite clear that lots of times in their life they're thoroughly miserable because they're having a hard time because. Oh, for whatever reason. Some of it may be their fault, some of it not. But, you know, when you can see them in a, an environment which is giving them a chance to shine, a chance to enjoy themselves, why wouldn't... I don't know what, I don't know what price... Because you can't put a price on it, there's, there's not mean to say it's not valuable. It's all for charity, isn't it, really? It's all for the cause, all for the people that are trying to move forward in their life but finding it hard but supporting those people that find it hard and saying to them you can move forward, you can keep going. It's so important though to go into these areas, you know, to get young people who are unemployed who are probably thinking, well what, you know, what can I do? And just sort of say, well look, you know, come in here, you know, and let's let's do something. Just if you can have a good attitude in this, then you can take it into other things. And when you think about the background of these kids, and a lot of them you know, have very difficult backgrounds and not been given a chance, you can see that there is something in these kids if it can just be brought out. It's got hard knocks, it's gives these guys that chance, gives these guys opportunities to do that. And fair play to them, they put their hands up, they want to do it. This is great because I get the opportunity to, to sit with these guys and, and they open up to me and hopefully it inspires them, it encourages them to go on and and just get their head down, just, just try something. The charity's ability to find uh, young men at risk, uh, unemployed young men, ex-offenders who have very clear paths to decide, continue down the road they're on and end up in serious trouble and spend a lot of their life incarcerated or begin to take better decisions with the support of the charity, which will allow them to get their foot back on the social level. Yeah, just really happy and really happy for all the support and people supported me. People supported me on my journey as well, like Frosty, Kenny, you know, if it wasn't for people like that giving me that support, I don't know where I would be. Hard knocks all the way, never give up, never quit.